Welcome back to Our Issues Birmingham with Cleve Eaton and Ona Watson. This is a great show, and I hope you're watching. Uh, so to get jazz in Birmingham on the level we're talking about, you got to have players. You got to have players, right. Serious players. Yeah, we don't have any players. And watch this, man. Here, my plan, well, places where I play that. Hey, man, playing stuff like I play a uh, caliber of New Yorkish. Hey, we, at the at the Open Door Cafe, 12 years, we had three, four, five hundred people every Sunday, man, for good music, good jazz, just had some good jazz. Here in Birmingham. Here in Birmingham, man. Right. Yeah. And you right. know, no other club doing that. Right. And the reason for that was because I played the music that, that they would hear when they go to New York. And hear music that they would hear when they go to the top places, rather than in Alabama here, just in the small amount of stuff to hear. That's what you hear when you hear my show. Right. But that's what I, I was thinking about on him, and I felt so sorry for him, man, because he 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 has this beautiful place down there, and he's had it a long time, but didn't have nobody to play in it. Right. Nobody so, to play right. in it. And so, I don't mean that man, man, just man, somebody you happen to like at a local or somebody that you just happen right. to like. I'm right. talking about somebody that's, that's great, that, that makes you feel that they should be around the world. They should be in the top whatever it is because it's so, so good. Yeah. So you're saying what you guys represent is essentially a dying breed in terms of musicians that are youthful who won't dedicate the time to practicing and do it right and right. doing and do it, it right. on the level that you guys yes, have done right. it on. That's right. it. Right. That's it. They, they got this new computer stuff now. Yeah. Hey man, yeah, look, I my it. computer's here. I had right. a teacher that taught me, Mr. Ben Banks. I remember when I first started, I started, I, we would were, we were play, play, I said, man, look, let me get a pencil and write that down, man. He said, clean, <laughs> th 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 he told me, he throw that tablet away. Yeah. He said, Cause what happens if you leave that tablet at home? And I thought about that junk. I said, man, I'm going to get rid of this junk. And watch this from that day to this one. It. I've been memorizing this. I'm going to have thousands and thousands of songs in my head. At this point, because of not, uh, uh, and by the way, and not say, scripting uh, it, right? And watch these guys when we get on the gear. You never see me look for a tab, uh, for a book or something. Yeah, all of them, all of them, they got to read every darn song. I don't read no songs, but I exactly. know them all. Exactly. Well, I do know that having had the privilege of singing with you playing bass. <laughs> All Cleve wants to know is what keys what it key? is. That's it. You're going to handle it. That's it, man. That's it. You're going to handle it. It, it actually it insulted our bass player because he said, I can do all that. And I said, but you're not clean. Oh, yeah, clean. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, man, I've been told properly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's that's right. what kind of got me going. That's right. uh, he, my, my, Mr. Springer started, I was, uh, he did things right. He wasn't taught, that, but he knew how to do things, just do them right. And if you do them right, you come out pretty good. Well, I talk to young lawyers sometimes, and they, they do their cases, and they have a, note, a pad. Yeah. And I try to encourage them to throw that pad yeah, away. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. It's you. What I mean, if you don't have You a, can't feel it. No, nah, yeah. man. If you can't say it, what if you're if you not familiar find enough. Yeah, yeah. You lose it. You lose it. You lose it. Man, it sucks. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. 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 So how, how was Count Basie? What was that oh, like? Oh, I could talk for, for years about <laughs> Basie. Basie was great. <laughs> that was one of the greatest things that ever happened to me in my life. I yeah. I did the, uh, the five years with Ramsey, and it was good too. Ramsey was very good. He even gave me a chance to start and start to do. But Count Basie, and me, me and Count Basie, we, we were tight as everything, man, from day one. Well, you were the rhythm section. Yeah, but watch this. Yeah. I met Basie. I didn't, I didn't meet Basie until I was on the stage. Yeah, car in Indiana, I met Mr. Basie. And man, from the day we met, we clicked. How old were you when that happened? How about that, Mom? I don't know, 30. 40, 40 or something, yeah. yeah. But me and Basie met, and see, he's from he's from um, Red Banks, Red Bank, New Jersey. I'm from Fairfield, Alabama. So we were both from two small little towns. So man, when we hooked up, we hooked up like this, and from that day on, when me, when we were praying, I would watch Basie. I wouldn't watch nobody else in the band, nothing but Basie. I didn't even know some of the songs. I didn't have no rehearsal. I went in cold turkey. So what I do, I would watch Chief. And I would say, and because he was giving me my signals on everything. So I wound up watching him the whole, on, on all the shows for 17 years, for like, was it five years. And for 17 years, I watched the league. But basically, I watched him because he, he knew what to do it all the time. Let me tell you what I watched one day. Hey, man, uh, we was doing a, a, a set. And basically, uh, 
Bem, se era assim, era para onde estamos. E era assim, era para onde estamos. E era assim, era para onde estamos, like this. And so I'm playing. I'm just playing and playing. And so I look up, and basically, it's a park coming up, it's time for basically to play. I said, when he's on, when he's on. He's I, sitting I, at I, the piano? I, like this, just like in the play his part. I said, oh, he's been. So I played his part for him. And he looked at me and said, how did you know I was going to miss that? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it because I was watching him. See, yeah. music is more than listen. Listen and watch. Right. See, I listened to him, but as I watched him, and he didn't do it, I was able to fill it in, and it turned out great. I mean, I have a big show as a bass band. So did y'all travel all the time? All over the world, man. And yeah. all over. Hey, man, look, let me tell you a story about a bass band. Let's do something. There's a thing called the Bat Club. This is nobody else know about this, but people are a bass band. It's called the Bat Club. So, Where was Bat it? Club. Bat Club is in the bass band. It means that you can't bring no bats to the gig. Oh. You no know, ugly women. You <laughs> shouldn't pay the back to us. You shouldn't pay no extra. If you did, you had to pay five dollars. <laughs> and look, and watch this, man. And when you were from overseas, it was called international bat. <laughs> <laughs> so you paid ten dollars. So watch this, y'all. Let me let me let me in on that. But look, they they the 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 fun of the money that came from that Mrs. Basie, she was over this. She put. Musical instruments in schools with that money, and she did a thousand. Then she at the end she fed all of us a steak dinner of of the, of the money that was there. But that, that money, it was so much money. It it it, it helped a whole lot of things, man. That's uh, great. And coming from such BS, you know. But we had so much fun. Hey, man, on the, uh, the, the, there was a uh, uh, you had to go to court if you had a ugly, ugly bat, a bat. You had to come go to court. There's, there's, the basic there's, court. Yeah. It was, it was, you had a lawyer, and the judge said, no, now, the, 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 the lawyer would tell you, he said, no, no, look, Craig, now, I've been a lawyer for a long time, but I ain't never won no case. I ain't never won no case. I just want to let you know before we start. I, I ain't never won no case. But we go on, I'll be your lawyer. So if that means you know you ain't going to win. But hey, man, I'm through. I'm through. I, guess I can talk forever, man. But, but. Hold that thought. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back and talk about some more local musicians. This is Our Issues Birmingham. We'll be right back.